So I thought I would bring you along for huh, what is going to be my morning coffee, but um, in fact, I need another drink here. I'm almost done. Um, we got the patios all cleaned off. Mm. And I'm coming out to uh, do um, some more carrots. I'm going to plant some more carrots and some more green beans. Um, but I noticed, I may not do the green beans because I noticed I have some volunteers in the garden, which I'll show you. So it's nice to have everything clean again or cleaned up again. And um, let's go over to this garden bed first. So the grapevine is still hanging in there. And we are, let's see, it's June 5th, or yeah, June 5th, and um, still parsley, and I love this parsley. It's got such a grassy, delicious flavor. It's so good, and um, I just come out, pick it, go in and wash it off, and chop it up and put it in my dish. It's wonderful, and there's some going to seed back there, and I'm going to let it happen because I don't, I don't mind. You can kind of control where you have it. So the little rhubarb, I cleaned that out really good and got all the icky leaves off of it. So I'm hoping it, it pops back up. It was looking a little puny. And there's actually two divisions on that plant. I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's, there's one over there and then one over here. <clears throat> the little tomatoes are just hanging in. We have radishes. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and and in between that row, plant some more, and then in between these tomato plants. Um, while it's still cool enough, although yesterday we reached a high of 99. The herb barrel is in full bloom, and I'm gonna cut, this is a tip for you, when you have chives and they flower like this, it's, those flowers are great in a salad when they're, um, when they're new, not now, they've gone to seed and they're kind of dried out. But I'm going to cut that all the way down to nothing and that chive plant will then come back and be fresh and new chives and delicious again. So you can do that over and over again throughout the season, which is really nice. <clears throat> and <clears throat> there's one little green bean in there. I'm I, this whole thing is getting taken over with the chives and the sage, which is fine. We've got another tomato and a red chili pepper, and it's got a couple peppers on it, so it's doing okay. And there's my Papa Deuce. They were after a squirrel, <clears throat> and so they're on they're on a, a lockdown for a minute. Huh, Ragnar. Nothing's popping up. Well, one little green bean is popping up here. But, look at this. I have uh, Swiss chard. And we're waiting on green beans in that one. And there's Swiss chard in that one. The same. Green beans, <clears throat> not all of them have come up. And I will, in the gaps, I'll go ahead and plant a couple more. But even right here, here's a late bloomer. Sometimes if you just push the dirt away a little bit, you'll find that there's a bean under there. So that's doing good. I'm excited. We're going to have so many green beans. And I'm going to can at least, you know, two-thirds of them. I might freeze a few. And then, of course, we're going to eat them as, as much as we can. And the dogs love them, too. So I get to share my garden. And I'll give you another tip. If you pull your plants um, before they completely die but they quit in the fall, your chickens will eat the whole green bean plant. They love them. This is uh, pole beans, and or pole beans in the back and bush beans in the front. And here we have <clears throat> tomato. This one's doing really good. And green onions all around it. I don't know. See them all? Yeah. And uh oh, we have green beans. So there's a couple green beans that can go up this trellis. And I replanted this with carrots again because nothing came up. But my celery is just hanging in there. It hasn't really grown. Um, there's something there. I'm not sure what it is. So we we'll might let it grow long enough to see what it is. And then little cherry tomatoes. Look at all these clusters. Uh, and this is a really compact little plant. I love it. 
And it holds the water in pretty good, even after that hot day yesterday. So um, we are getting some green beans coming up. I see a little bush bean poking its head out of the dirt, so that's good. And then um, up here we should be getting something. So, and the little strawberry plants, they're doing okay. They're flowering right now. Um, I've got my herb pot here that's doing good. And I literally took the shovel in that big herb pot, whacked off a chunk, and brought this over here. And it has just thrived. So, <laughs> know that you can transplant. I even did it with um, parsley. So, uh, oh. The garden, the garden waterer is going on, which is good because then after this is done, um, I'll go in and pull up the bean plants and transplant them to an appropriate spot. So little tomato, this one's doing really good. This uh, rhubarb, I cleaned it out as well. So it's gotten, I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's really got a lot of um, spindly thin stalks on it this year which I'm not sure what that's all about I mean there was a few that were substantial but um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna let it go before I pick and you always want to any seed pods that you see come up you got to cut those off or you won't have picking all summer another one of those little compact tomato plants just hearty little is this is a just says cherry tomato red robin um, is the little plant and I didn't plant cherry tomatoes because last year I was so overrun with cherry tomatoes that I swore I'd never do it again and my little Heinz 57 or Heinz uh, Roma plant but I don't know if you can see, and I don't want to get the camera wet right there. And that's a green bean volunteer, and there's another one over here. Um, and one down the fence. But the ones that I did plant here along the fence are um, up. <clears throat> I've got onions right there. You can see them. And there's a green bean. And these are volunteering from last year's plants, so um, not the onions, but the green beans. Because when you have beans along the fence, you always have pods that dry. And they transplant. I'll just pop that out with a little spade and put it where I want it. And they survive very well. So I, do, I did plant some here on the outer edge, and it doesn't get a lot of water, so I always hand water that. But... Right there is my zucchini, one of them, and over there in the rain, I'll come back when this isn't watering, but the peppers and the tomatoes are doing great. I've got a couple baby tomatoes, and I've got my cucumbers right there, and the mulch is working out. Five minutes of water on this, everything, even in that 100 degree temperature yesterday, or 99, they, they're doing fantastic. I just love it. Smoked a pork butt yesterday, so I didn't have to heat up the house. Of course, I did a canning session, so I don't know if that kind of <clears throat> was an oxymoron. Okay, let's go out here and see what's going on. Look at those raspberries. I'm telling you, if you can do raspberries, start out with bare root plants. This originally was 10 bare root plants little spindly sticks put them in the ground and i believe because they're right on the lawn you know they're next to the lawn they get a lot of residual water because raspberries do take a lot of water um to get established and look at that it's just fantastic i'm so impressed and they're loaded with flowers already so July is when we start picking, and we pick all the way up till the frost. Uh, it just waves and waves of them. So stay tuned for lots of raspberry recipes. And so these along this fence were 10 bare root plants that I planted last year. And now they're, um, they have multiplied 
more than double and I even have them you know they're coming up because what they do their roots go underground I, I'm not sure if it's called a rhizome but they send a leg out underground and then you know um, the shoots off of it off the mother plant anyway and <clears throat> those are um, these will not produce this year um, but next year those plants will produce. So the first year canes don't produce, but oh, and they're starting to get loaded with bees too. And the raspberries really attract a lot of bees, so keep that in mind when you're planting. And I have tons of garlic. All of this is garlic that I planted last spring, and so I'm anxious to see what I get. Usually we pick garlic in July, and I'm going to really try hard to put together some, uh, another raised bed that I can do for just garlic bulbs and um, one that I can turn into an asparagus bed because I need asparagus. I love asparagus. I want to can some, but it's so expensive right now. Ooh, I see flowers. Look at it. I don't know if you can see that little flower. Now this is a blackberry bush. Now this was a bare root that I planted last year and they didn't do much. They, I mean, they hung in there and there's one, two, three, I think there's four. Um, I started out with five and lost one. So they are gonna give us a few berries. They've all got flowers on them. That's awesome. And another view of those beautiful raspberries. And down here, the little grapevine. He's just hanging in there, getting his roots established, really. And I'm gonna fight for um, a spot there with those raspberries, but I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let these raspberries do what they're doing, because um, they're gonna provide us with a lot of food. And I wouldn't even mind putting a fence along here, and like we have, right here and letting them wander right down that fence line but I'd have to talk to my husband about that <laughs> I, I think he'd be on board he loves them little bees working work it girly or boy I'm not sure I guess it's a boy okay so oh and in here I do have squash remember so there's a right there it's come up and right there. And I threw some cucumber seeds out here. Somebody said, oh, I think it was Lisa from Lisa's World. She discovered that the squash beetles and all those, they don't like, um, they don't like cucumbers. So she hadn't had any problems letting the cucumbers wander and meander through. There is a little sprout on the other side of that stick that, um, is a squash plant as well. And then I just keep picking this lettuce for the girls. In fact, I think they're waiting for their morning pick. Let's get them some lettuce. Because this has all gone to seed. It's it's bitter for us. So let's see if the girlies. Just grab a handful. Hi girls. Oh, me laws. Oh, me titty laws. Oh, look at them. They can't wait. Hi, precious. Good morning. Okay, you want some this? Oh, good. Oh, we love that. And I'm, I'm going to get out here and rake all this up. This is great top dressing for over the straw. You want, you want to put this right around your plants because um, there's fresh poo in here. But if you put it on top of the straw and as it gets watered down, it dilutes it and, and your plants are fine. Just make sure you keep it away from the actual base of the plant. Would you guys like something else? Okay, let's get... All right, just keep their stuff in tubs. Get some sprat or some uh, layer pellets. And I use um, pellets. These are small, but I use pellets because there's less waste.
the crumble is just turns into powder and I get a lot of waste. Hi, pretty. Now that little, look at the, how tiny that little polka dotted hen is. She's got little tiny black polka dots. That's a California white and she lays all the biggest girls. eggs out of I mean, sometimes they're too big to fit in the carton. I'm gonna throw you girls some scratch. And then see, I don't think we have any eggs. And I get in here in the morning and clean out all their little dew and um, put, you know, replace the shavings. And they just, you know, they get it down in here. This was the little coop that I, we got at Costco and I, it was great to raise the babies in and they've never stopped using it even though we have the old coop here. And they go in there, they, they use this when it's extremely cold, or yesterday when it was really hot, they were hanging out in there, watch. I don't know why that would be cooler, but it was. We do have a mister that I can hook up the hose and miss this area. Um, I, I, I don't find that they appreciate it as much as maybe our dogs would. She says, I want to go with you. Bye, lovelies. I love you guys. <laughs> and I'll bring him a handful of spinach. I'm going to make a turkey and spinach omelet for Michael. So I will bring them some spinach. They always get to share. And, oh, <clears throat> now we have this full of water. And we'll ch we change it out every oh, week or so. Um, and... It waters this tree during the summer months. And this tree I planted when we first moved here. So it's about 13 years old. Anyways, um, yesterday when it was so hot and the dogs went out for a walk with Michael, it, they immediately came back and they all jumped in there except Shotzi, we wouldn't let her do it. And she stayed home. She went to the mailbox with me because she's due to have those babies next Friday. Oh my gosh. So I've got to get this ugly off the fence. I'm going to try to get Michael to help me because I can't do it. I don't think I can do it by myself without making a huge mess. The neighbors cut down that, or took down their side of that plant, but now it's coming up on my side. And they haven't got the roots killed. And so now I'm left with this dead crap on my fence, which, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, look. Gooseberries. Can you see them? Little tiny. Those will turn a really pretty color of pink and they're delicious. Um, and they're getting pretty close. Another couple weeks they'll be ready. And I think I'm going to put some Roundup on that plant because it's going to come up and take over my side. Yeah. I think it needs some, some poisoning. And that's a blackberry, I believe. Or maybe it's a raspberry. Anyways, no, that's a blackberry. And this is, these are raspberries. But they, they really never do that well. I don't know whether they like this side or they don't. And there's another one down here and I actually need to get the dead cane off of that. But, well, look it. Here's my apple. I know, I get so excited with this. And that's a honey crisp. Oh, I need to put it in a jacket so nobody can eat it but me. And the pears are doing good. All right, so there's an overview. Oh, let's go back to the garden over here. And, oh, I just love this time of year. I mean, I love all seasons, but my other little um, Heinz Roma. You've got to get those if you can. They're fantastic if you can your own sauce. Okay, so we have green beans there. This tomato plant. I oh, know I've got my, this is a yellow squash. And I lost a pepper plant for no apparent reason. So I don't know what happened there. Um, I did spread the mulch out. There's uh, the other zucchini. So I think we're doing okay. I'm really trying not to 
overcrowd and if I do I want to overcrowd it with green beans and with um, things that I can preserve okay so we have green beans coming up yay and even down here because I I just planted this so um, about a week ago you can just about count green beans coming up in one week so there you go that's my garden and I absolutely love it. Um, I appreciate you guys coming along and visiting with me and leaving comments. And let me know what you're growing this year. And uh, as always, I can't wait to see you next time. Please go check the links below. And if you need to do any shopping on Amazon, um, if you click on one of the Amazon links and shop for whatever you like through that link, uh, it helps our channel out immensely and it doesn't cost you a penny more. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. Bye.